Hello, this is one of the videos about devices which you may sometime need to use in your life. This device is used to detect metals, pipes, cavities and wood inside of the walls. And I would like to show you how it works and if it works well enough to be used at home. This is a cheap device. It could be an alternative to professional expensive ones but let's see how precise it is. This device is pretty sensitive. It can detect metal up to 12 centimeters deep in the wall. And let me show you that it's true. For example, here I have in the wall two pipes. Using this device is pretty easy. You just turn it on. This one has two modes, one for metal detection and the other one is for wood and also cavities. Let's choose the metal detection and it also can be used for cable detections and let's see how it works so this is the pipe and this device shows you how far a metal object is inside of the wall but let's just try to approach this device in the air and see if the indications are correct Now you see it says that a metal object is 10 centimeters far away. And as we approach, it tells you that it's one centimeter away from the detector. And it's true. Now let's see how we detect the metal objects in the walls. Normally you would try to go from one side to another. And this device is supposed to show you where the metal is. Now it says that it already detected the metal, which is 10 centimeters away. And now we're approaching to the metal. And it says 1 centimeter. And it says that it's in the center. Here it says center. When we remove away, it doesn't say anything. It doesn't say that it's in the center. So this is the center. And when you approach it to the pipe, it says it's in the center now, the metal object. But when you have another pipe, another metal pipe very close to this one, which is on the left in this case, it still can see it. and it tells you that the pipe is no longer in the center and when we move closer to the second one it would get confused because you have two pipes together, right? But it will still tell you that there is something inside. Now it says it's center. And uh, if we check where the pipe is, actually it is somewhere here. But if we start from this side, it will not get confused. It will start telling you that the metal object is close. And at what point it will tell you that it's in the center. So it's here. And the pipe, if you can see, is actually here. Close, move it closer, and yes, it is detecting the pipe correctly. What to keep in mind here, this detector is very sensitive, so if you have several objects together, it may provide you idea of where the metal objects are in general, but may not tell you where they are exactly. For example, I have here a wooden bar with some nails in it, right? Let's imagine you want to detect a pipe and there is somewhere a metal nail in it. It will also see the nail, so you may get confused why your detector is telling you that there is metal in, in, in there everywhere. So let's see. You see, 
it has already detected the nail. And it is detecting the nails all the time. So for example if you have a door here with nails, it will also detect the nails. So you see there are nails around. Nine centimeters away from the detector there is a nail. Yes, there is a nail. So this is something to keep in mind. What else? You have a floor which may be full of metal bars which are part of the construction. Usually they are also located in the columns which keep the building structure rigid. So let's see what's happening here. You may have the detector saying that there is metal all over the floor. You see? The trick here would be to raise a little bit your detector until you get out of the distance which lets the detector detect those metal bars. And then at this point you can start moving your detector to detect other objects. So here we can see it started detecting the pipes that go through the floor the water pipes so now I can see that there is something here apart from the metal bars that are part of the construction structure for example here I have a column which keeps the whole building in its place and uh, if you approach the detector to this column is full of metal bars inside. So here probably you won't have any pipes, it's not allowed to have anything inside of it, but just to show you that you need to keep in mind that metal bars can be somewhere in the building and doesn't mean that there are pipes. That would mean you can't really drill here because you can't damage the main structure of the building. Now let's see how this detector detects near the cables. I am in the metal detector mode and uh, I know that there are no cables here. Let's see what it does. Nothing. And let's go here. There should be a cable. Now you see there's a electricity sign blinking. So it means that there is a current going through the cables. Let's turn off the lamp and see if something changes. It still sees that there's kind of a voltage in here. No beeping sound, but still you see the sign. That could be confusing a little bit. And let me show this zone here. It's a ceiling and it's full of metal bars, if I understand it correctly. And the detector is detecting all the way around the metal bars here. And you need to detect something here. Imagine you had a cable very close to the ceiling. Probably you would not be able to see where the cable is exactly because the metal bars would interfere. Let's see. Now it's detecting metal and it's affected by the ceiling. And at one point it should stop detect detecting the metal bars, but, but it's still beeping. And then when you approach to the cable, you can see only the voltage sign here. And when you go down to the frame of the door, you get affected by the nails here. 
So this is another thing to keep in mind when you work with these detectors. And the most challenging thing is to detect hollow spaces or wood. Let's go to the wood mode and I have here... I know that there is a hollow space here. I know that there is a ventilation duct here and let's see what happens if you try to detect it. The problem here is that the bricks are also hollow inside and it's telling me that there are some hollow spaces. So this detector could see the inconsistency in the bricks because they are hollow and we'll show you that here everything is hollow and now let me simulate a wooden bar behind some kind of a material I'll use the tiles and we'll see if it works And you can see it started detecting the wood. The wood passes like this. And it has detected the center and it looks like it's working. So now I put more tiles in it and let's try to detect the wood. Nothing. Now I have like five centimeters. Removing one tile. And now it can see a little bit something behind the tiles. Removing one more. started detecting the wood but it is not precise now you see it's detecting it in the whole tile let's remove it let's see now and now it's more precise and I have only here one and two tiles, which would be like a one centimeter. One centimeter is precise. Also, the density of the tiles is very high. Maybe with the bricks it would work differently. So that's how this thing works. It's not ideal, but it's very cheap. And uh, at home you may have different scenarios, just to keep in mind those scenarios I've shown you. But in the end, you can say that if this detector doesn't detect anything, you're pretty good to go and uh, drill your wall without risking drilling through a pipe or a cable. And just for the reference, these are the distances at which different materials are detected.